Hello and welcome to the Stephen Tries Podcast, episode 21. <laughs> Looks like we made it. Um, today I'm joined by David Reese. Hello, you all right? <laughs> Thomas Cooney. Hello. Max Smith. Hello there. And Joe McGrath, who is... He's just doing what he wants these days, and who can stop him? So, <laughs> yesterday, uh, Dave, Tom and myself, uh, we were joined by Ryan Locke and James Ormrod Great of, of the podcast. you know, catfishing <laughs> fame. Um, and uh, we went to Alton Towers to film the uh, a scene for a sketch, uh, which is out now. Go and watch it, please. Yeah. Not right now, because you'll, you'll miss out on uh, <laughs> a lot of the an hour stuff. of really great content. Um, uh, so, we yeah, we went to Alton Towers, and... Um, it was busy. It was. It was very busy. Was it? Was really Too busy. busy. Yeah. For the most part. And yeah. it, was, it was pointed out as we pulled up into the car park, oh, it's the summer holidays. <laughs> 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 like, oh, just realised. Yeah. It's been the summer holidays for, what, yeah. the last four months? Exactly. Yeah, it's really. been for you, mate. Working for this guy. <laughs> uh, was there uh, like uh, safety precautions you had to take? Or? Yes. Yeah, they took our bit. temperature. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I thought they were barcoding me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I've never been. Uh, so me and a... a, a Joe McGrath uh, used to go with school, um, yeah. and so he'd always get the coach to the entrance. So I never parked, and it was like a twenty-five minute walk to the entrance. So I had to get Uber. I had to go for a wee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ridiculous! Oh, so you had to hold it in for the whole journey, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, and then uh, yeah, I went for a wee, and I heard a family walking, you know, near the trees. Oh, God, <laughs> to throw to... it in too quickly. Had throw to... it in. I mean, just <laughs> pop it back in. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Anyway, Alton Towers. <laughs> Went on loads of rides. Not to begin with, it was painful. It got was. Stuck in an aquarium. Oh, <laughs> like, God. And we got told off by three different people, right? Mostly yeah. Scottish. Yeah, like two Scottish, Scottish people yeah. and one girl. Two out of three. Um, <laughs> Literally a girl. Scottish, as Scottish well. people can't What's their problem? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we were chewing up for a ride, like this little um, boat ride. It was the most awkward thing because me, Tom, and Ryan were the only adults. With no yeah. kids. And one of them was wearing a wig, glasses and a helmet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it looked you know proper yeah. special. Tom is dressed up for the sketch. We should yeah. put that out. Yeah, yeah. And it, we, we kept walking in, thinking nothing of it. My, like, you've got the arrows pointed out, but yeah. they've got them arrows pointed out in Tesco yeah. and Sainsbury's yeah. and no one listens to them. But it's, you're keeping a natural distance of a exactly. metre anyway, but yeah, the arrows yeah. are like three metres. So yeah. some people are wanting to stay on the arrows, well, even yeah. though it's... Yeah. The are, first, you, oh. are you thinking that they looked at Tom and went, we need to get another few meters. Away from that <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kid, I'm here yeah, with my kid kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised you went fast tracked with this guy. <laughs> because of how you were yeah, dressed yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, because of your, it, this is a fast track to fun, isn't it? Hey. Yeah. So we got told about that Scottish person because he's like, "Can you go back?" Well, he he did it quite nicely. He was quite respectful about yeah. it. It was like, was "Excuse really? me, mate." Like. He yeah, had a lot yeah. less monster exactly, on his Exactly, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> and, then, and, and then we went into the sea life, and she was a right bitch. I, I didn't realise that, because the, the aquarium is quite long, and uh, I didn't realise that each you know, spot, the two metres, was a different viewing point. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. So you were literally stuck in a queue, yeah. and there was no way yeah. back out. So you just had to wait for ages oh. to get out. So thankfully, uh, we told them we felt sick and we got yeah. we got taken out. Uh, <laughs> but like, there's one spot per bit of aquarium. Yeah. It's only yeah. one. So even if the aquarium, even that that bit's like you know, kind of circumference of like five meters, and two people could, you know, there's one spot. Yeah. So that first bit, they were on one spot. We saw a gap where we could stay away from them. We went to it, but it was like you know, what are you doing? Yeah. Get back on your spot. Oh, no. Terrible. Yeah. 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 Don't go back. out. Anyway, <laughs> the games at Alton Towers, they're frustrating. Uh, because uh, there was a bit where, you know, Tom was trying to win a prize. Mm. And there's there's one where you, you throw a ball at a backboard and it, it's got to land in the box. Obviously, okay, yeah, it just yeah. keeps bouncing over that distance. But there's a red line, and if you hit, yeah. uh, hit the red line or below, you don't win. So Tom threw it, looked like it won. I was like, yes. And he went, hit the red line. Uh, anyway, we sort of laughed, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's poppycock. Uh, <laughs> we had it recorded. Yeah. Watching it back. Went, went uh, to VAR. It may have hit the red line, but it was very close. Mm. You know, it was Don't touch and go. Don't think you um, Yeah. Some people take their jobs far too serious. You could have just this given, you know. If he's, yeah. They've got Alton Towers money. They can get more presents. Uh, so, yeah, we. Uh, what was your favourite ride? Mine, probably Oblivion. Or that air one. Yeah. <laughs> air is no longer air, it's Galactica. Galactica, Galactica yeah. that's the one, sorry. Get yeah. off your high horse, Alton Towers. <laughs> um, yeah. It'll yeah. always be air to me. That's nice. Yeah, I so felt powerful. like you were flying on that one. It really did, yeah. yeah. I like a ride that goes down, 
So for that, <laughs> you love me then. Oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> and this has been that's TikTok worth around the podcast episode yeah. twenty one. <laughs> With peaks. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, so probably Oblivion, I'd say. Yeah. I like that one. That was good. I, I, I love Oblivion, but I was holding a GoPro to film Tom. So oh. I was so concerned about dropping the, the GoPro that uh I completely forgot to focus on the ride, and it was it was a breeze. Yeah. Uh, if anyone's frightened, just <laughs> hold something really expensive. <laughs> yeah. On on Rita, I was so cautious of going on Rita because again, sorry, what? So Rita's just uh, it's really quick. So you get on it, and it's like sixty miles an hour, pretty much from the off. Mm. So last time I went on it, I got whiplash. <laughs> so this time I'm sat there with the GoPro and Tom. And there's a girl waiting to go on next, uh, and just as it's about to go off, she goes, "He's gonna drop that GoPro," <laughs> and then I literally go like that. Like, let's sort of lean forward and look at her. And then the, it just goes, and you can see the footwell. Well, it's yeah. not in the video. Yeah. Well, I was going to hold it, but I didn't trust myself. I bottled it. <laughs> yeah. Gave it to Stephen. What was wait, Tom's wig stayed on for all the rides. And, like, and uh, in, in oblivion. So I was obviously worried about the GoPro just because yeah. of the G-force of going down. Yeah. And obviously I had a wig. Did I have glasses on for that one? Though? I, I think, I think so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so obviously these shit glasses that are kind of... Yeah, and, and this wig, and they both stayed on, but my mask didn't. My mask came off. Wow. <laughs> I completely it. forgot about holding the wig because it just you're just forced back in your seat. Yeah, right? you've you've done well out of those uh, wigs. Yeah, I yeah. really have. Yeah, not that you know about them. Max. No, <laughs> like, <laughs> one day I'll let you wear one. <laughs> What's uh, your favourite ride, team? Uh, because um, yeah, I, I love the, the the the. It's just novelty, isn't it, going that way? And uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, of course, yeah, Oblivion, I yeah. completely missed what was going on. What about you, Tom? Nemesis for me. Nemesis. Nemesis. Yeah. It was a bit joltery, that one. Yeah. Well, I, I can't, you can't get your bearings on it. It's just constant movement in different that's directions. So yeah, it's true. Don't know where you are. A, it's a hell of an experience. Mm. Yeah, true that. I'll tell you what was embarrassing on one ride. Uh, my seat didn't come up. And then uh, the woman sort of struggled to get it over my ears. <laughs> 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 and I stood up and hit my, head on the, uh, <laughs> hit my head on the ride in front. Uh, terrible. Uh, anyway, that was Alton Towers. On to our topic for today, which is money. Let's begin with Max Smith. Hello. Most money you've spent in sort of one go? I think it was the PC. The plastic cock? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moulded to my own design. <laughs> uh, should have been really cheap, to be honest with you. <laughs> Just some fucking scraps we found on the floor. Um, we. You're welcome, lady. <laughs> When we, after we did the tour, yeah, um, somebody gave it a bit of money, uh, <laughs> not naming names, and um, I bought a PC. Mm. That was uh, that was a lot of money. Yeah, um, it's done me well. Yeah, it's treated me kindly over the years. Roughly, how much was this PC? So uh, all in all, about six grand. What? Six, hell. six G's. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Worth it. Yeah. It's one of those That's people who are saying sure about his purchase. People were saying like, "Oh, you should have gone on holiday and stuff." Yeah. But if I'd gone on holiday, that holiday would be over by now. Yeah. And granted, you have been really hungry recently. <laughs> memories. That's it. Yeah. Would it be good? Uh, who needs memories? No. Could have done it. Yeah, with the holiday podcast. <laughs> just, just something other than you eating Taco Bell and chips. <laughs> <laughs> that would have happened again. Come on, it just would have been more Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about you, Tom? Most you spent in Mongo? Uh, I don't know. It's probably more, probably on holidays, like yeah. in the rail and stuff, where I've like saved money and then put you know, six hundred down or whatever. What uh, about the engagement uh, ring? I, I paid. I, I paid it over time, so yeah. I did spend. Uh, oh, she doesn't know how much I spent, but uh, <laughs> it, was, it was quite a lot. But in, in a way, you're still paying for it now. Yeah. 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 yeah in a way, you'll pay for that for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, she, she does watch these. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was no, that what? was probably why. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of holidays, single purchase the engagement ring. Yeah, pay for over a few months. What about you, Dave? <laughs> Mine, probably my rent. Just, so, just one month. Which is like one month alone is enough for me. Six grand. I probably actually uh, I bought a TV for Jenna once, so not even for me. Wow. So <laughs> and you refuse to look at it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. I, like, I ain't watching this. <laughs> the TV, not Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I was well gutted, really. I really don't want to do this, Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm resenting you for this. You sure you want this? Because <laughs> it's quite expensive and it would look good on my wall. we got the old black and white back at home. <laughs> Maybe a holiday as well, to be fair. What's wrong I'm... with the wireless? <laughs> I can do me funny dances for you. <laughs> I can do shadow puppets on the wall. <laughs> I can do a gorilla. Uh, yeah. Bless her, but no. Um, she, she, she's always compensated for me. She's bought me a holiday once for my oh, birthday. What so, a woman. So nice. what can I say? I'm spoilt, really. 
Do you hear that, women? Specifically, the one I'm dating. <laughs> Not women. Right. I was gonna, uh, I was gonna <laughs> climb Mount Kilimanjaro with, then you uh, got with Ryan. Lee. Not on the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> For some with some through uni, and I uh, decided to do it. I put seven hundred pound down. Seven Next million. day, ruptured my ankle. Was gonna be out for quite a few months, so I couldn't go. Oh, God. And they never gave me my money, uh, my money back. Name really? and shame. Yeah. Child Reach International. Yeah, are you listening <laughs> to that? <laughs> 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 yeah, International <laughs> Children. Yeah. You owe Tom Charity. Tom Looney a pretty yeah, yeah. penny. <laughs> Legal battle's over now, so I can talk and about his, it. And his ankles, his they ankles nearly me. better. <laughs> that's that's awful. Yeah, that's. Yeah. And you were doing that, it was, you're going to raise money for charity? I was going to, but obviously because I joined, like I decided to do it right before the deadline for the first payment. That was my money out of my own pocket. And, I'll uh, give you a tenner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never got that back, did you? I also, I also ruptured your ankle. Man. That's yeah. by the bar. <laughs> uh, mine would have been, again, you could say rent, because I had to pay mine up front. Uh, <laughs> I think they don't class this as work. Um, <laughs> um, just wait till you see those beer 52 checks. <laughs> and wait till I see the beer 52. <laughs> uh, mine would have been New York. Uh, probably probably that outright anyway. Um, mm. But then, <laughs> really funny story, I uh, booked booked the flights with Thomas Cook. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then uh, a, couple, a couple of days later, they, they went bust. Yeah, uh, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. Child Reach International, <laughs> Beer 52, Thomas Cook. No, not Beer 52. You're on our list. Not Beer 52. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not Beer 52. <laughs> <laughs> I love a god. Uh, We're coming for you. Thomas Cook, yeah, uh, went bust. And then uh, and the website was just confused, and I thought I couldn't get the money back. Um, and then uh, I realised... Oh, you can. Um, uh, so I contacted Santander, and then you know, it's just been an ongoing ball ache. And mm. uh, it's the, the the problem is, is that you know the the stuff that I get put through to on, on Santander. One bloke was really helpful. He's like, yeah, just send this in, and it'll all be sorted. I was like, oh, perfect. So I sent it, and uh, a few weeks later, they're like, yeah, it's past the the deadline of how long you have to wait to do it. So Sorry. I call them up, and I'm livid. Then uh, <laughs> the woman interrupted me whilst I was going off. And I went, are you interrupting me? Do you want me to leave another complaint? <laughs> and uh, and she she was just putty in my hands after that. Uh, so you got your money back? No. Uh, <laughs> but I won that conversation in uh, in some ways. And you got that to live by. Yeah, with, uh, that's so true. Money. Yeah. That's, that's worth £1,100. Uh, oh, yeah, God. Love that. Love that. A lot of money. That's but New York was fun. fun. Saw Mean Girls in Broadway. Nice. So, uh, yeah. Say that they just pushed me out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> She's me. Uh, <laughs> I was watching Darren Brown there. Um, <laughs> oh, fat is. <laughs> Don't want to do this podcast anymore. This is getting depressing. Too many bad yeah. memories. Yeah. Uh, oh, we've got IMAX to come. <laughs> <laughs> Livid. What I'll a week. Fuck uh, off, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I've been nothing but respectful you to you all. So sorry. Yeah. Uh, kind of gets away with it a bit, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Not me next. No. Don't, so, don't try it. <laughs> they're ganging up on me now. Let's, <laughs> let's not. Come on. Uh, oh, Max Raves. Anyway, Santander, oh, Raves. go fuck yourself. <laughs> Visa, you're go on the list. Fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, you're on a list. You probably are. Anyone with a lot of money probably is. <laughs> I must have spent about five hundred pounds on parking tickets as well. <laughs> not always good. No, no, Dave. Not all at the same time. I got to get one and then forget yeah. to pay it, and it all adds up. Yeah. We get another one, forget to pay it, it oh, all You can never up. forget to pay these things. Yes, I know, I know, yeah. I know. Why do they call it fine? I know, do you know it's what I mean? It's not fine, it's, is it? <laughs> they should call it uh, depression. <laughs> <laughs> You've got... got so much depression. <laughs> <laughs> I'm depressed up to my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, fines are a pain in the bum. I hate them. I've, uh, I've, I've never been fined, I don't think. Uh, count yourself lucky. Yeah. They're not nice. I think, I think no, driving is, is so costly, you don't even consider all exactly. these, the parking tickets and all that. Mm. Speeding fines, ugh. Just like to drive at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like on Oxford Road in Manchester, they brought out that kind of, you know, no car zone. Yeah. But like it comes off different streets, so you can literally go down the street, there's one sign that says, oh, don't come on here, you'd think you'd be fine. Yeah. You nose out for like a second, realise, oh shit, can't go here, reverse and turn away. That's 50 quid. Caught you. Oh, caught yeah. you. Bus, bus lanes, yeah. if you go to bus lanes, that's 50 quid. Yeah. Tell you go when, on the uh, pavement, that's life in jail. <laughs> I, I lost a lot of money once in a, in a car park. <laughs> she just drove off. <laughs> 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 no, uh, 
so we'd, uh, we'd gone to football and uh, we'd just done a podcast oh, really oh enough, my God. Uh, oh. quite a few months ago oh, last year actually and uh, I'd put all the camera equipment just on the on the front seat like jammed it in the front I was like should I put this in the boot and uh, Cameron who I was with said no uh, it's not in the podcast <laughs> <laughs> really aggressive no, about uh, it <laughs> the no circumstances <laughs> uh, so uh, can we I at least lock the car <laughs> I am so open humanity <laughs> So we went off for half an hour, came back, and the windows had been put through. And obviously they'd taken all the cameras, and most importantly, the content. Um, oh, I was livid about that. Um, so that, that was probably worth about three grand all in all. Jesus. Livid. Was that before the game? Yeah. It was, yeah. Did, did we play the game that I yeah, played it in did, jeans, yeah. yeah. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's worse than uh, worse than losing all that money was the chafing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that for free. Oh, I, I, uh, forgot, I didn't realise you played in jeans. Yeah. I um, chafed a lot yesterday. Yeah. Got a few sores on my legs. The things you do for a fast track. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Rita, yeah. What's what's the most money you've lost? Child Reach International. <laughs> oh yeah, you <laughs> have you have you ever just lost money like from uh, something? Lost my wallet with like 150 quid in it in oh. cash. Oh yeah. You got you got robbed twice, didn't you? Oh, I wasn't even thinking about them. Um yeah, get well just getting robbed. It's the worst yeah. thing getting robbed, mm. especially when you've got things of value that you need and you've got the place and Yeah. Ah, oh, awful. So yeah. I've tried getting robbed with bin bags and just don't take it. <laughs> just singing, oh, I've got yeah. loads of money in these bags. <laughs> oh, I hope someone doesn't mug me. <laughs> uh, Max, you must have lost some lost money Lost my somewhere. wages once. Really? Uh, whole wages? I thought, oh, yeah. I thought, yeah. I was... I was robbed, but yeah, yeah. at this point in time, you know, can a man not just knows? collect his wages, put That's them in it. his back pocket, drink half a bottle of tiki fire, <laughs> <laughs> and then go out to a nightclub? Do you know the worst? The Sing worst? it, I've got a load of money. <laughs> I You'll hope never I don't get, get robbed. This. You'll never get it. Money, this. money, money. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> the worst part, though, is afterwards you think, I wasted 60 hours of my life last week. <laughs> yeah. I don't even care about the money at this point. It's the fact I worked for 60 hours. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, they, they, you can get money back. It's time. Yeah. That's, that's what it all comes down to, your fucking time. Do you know, do you know what was weird was, weirdly enough, I remember you, you called me early that Sunday morning saying, oh, I've just had all my wages taken. Yeah. Uh, and you've got bills to pay. And weirdly enough, that night, um, I'd... Uh, I've got a bloke to do a job. No, I'd, uh, <laughs> I'd put a bet on Tyson Fury on his fight to be a draw, and there was massive odds on that. And I'd won a uh, 160 quid or something. So yeah. I came into money, and you lost. Yeah, yeah, some, yeah. So yeah, it's weird how things work. Karma, though. You know, yeah, thanks exactly. for it's, it's life it's balance, isn't it? Kind of the universe restoring itself. Mm. Should we should we go into uh, the biggest waste of money then? Things you look back and you go, why, why, why? <laughs> Did I have to buy that? I'll give you a quick instance. Mine was, uh, one of them is McGregor Mayweather. I oh, watched that. Oh, yeah. I got completely <laughs> bought into the hype. And then I watched it and I was like, of course Mayweather's going to win. He's one of the best boxers ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this bloke who's been training for 10 weeks isn't going to beat him. <laughs> was it a spectacle though? Cause, uh, no. No, it was 25 quid and I was just like, oh, for 10 oh rounds. God, yeah. Yeah. I mean, even watching. earlier fights, kind of towards the end of his career, like Mayweather Pacquiao. Fighting when they're both flying. Yeah. That was a waste of money as well. Just, yeah. A lot of money. I once bought a game for the PlayStation, yeah. no, no, for the PC, and uh, it turns out you can't play it on Max. <sighs> and it was about 40 quid. But I mean, you tried to play it on Windows. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it says you can play on Windows. <laughs> yeah. So if, if it says you can play on one computer, surely you can play it on other computers. But The amount of games like are a waste of money on some of them. Shocking. What's the worst game you've bought? Uh, it's not the worst, but it was like, I think well, it was. Well, answer my question. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> the worst game. Oh god! Got a nice new coffee grinder the other week. <laughs> <laughs> I love that game. Yeah, so, I thought, oh, just a VR headset. Well, I, I feel like a barista. <laughs> I can use yeah. this to ground my spices. Uh, so oh, she wants two pumps of vanilla. <laughs> so, so I stuck some cloves in there. You fucking uh, bitch, man! <laughs> I don't have the beans. I don't have the beans. <laughs> this is impossible. Um, yeah, and all the clove oil got stuck to the plastic, so now I can't grind any coffee because it just tastes of fucking clove oil. I, can you believe people call you a Tory in the comments? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's clove oil? You wonder. The cloves. I'm assuming what? it's the oil of a clove, sure. But why? Yeah, would yeah you... but you meant to grind. Uh, you should grind it in things like metal and stuff because oh. the uh, yeah the, the the oil just fuses with the plastic. Right. You know, oil went. So yeah, and they uh, don't teach you that at Eton. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so Max was the was, was the waste of fucking time. Anyway, go on. Biggest waste of money. Sorry. Uh, I 
subscribe to certain things. Um, mm. It's like you get a free week. Call it porn. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, you get the free week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you're like, yeah, sure. And I thought it was a month. Yeah. So, you know, a week later, I'm like, oh, I've still got a tenner in my can. I'm going to go buy some milk. Yeah. Yeah. Buy some lovely, lovely snacks. Uh, whilst I utilise. He's dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> I need some electrolytes. I uh, <laughs> should probably eat. <laughs> um, and I get there. It's declined. Why? So I'm there scrolling from the bank. You can call me a card, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I call my accountant <laughs> on speakerphone. <laughs> it's the porn <laughs> Um Yeah, it's probably that. Me and James went and bought a load of shopping. Uh, and uh, we went, literally got to the till, paid for everything. It was like, oh, we'll pay for this. Oh, we'll quickly run back and get these envelopes because we forgot about these envelopes. <laughs> went to the envelopes. It was like, oh, we don't need envelopes. We just walked out the shop, forgetting everything. Oh. By the time we'd walked back to the flat, uh, we forgot all our shopping. Oh. <laughs> About 50 quid's worth of shopping. It is left on the side. Yeah, yeah. We didn't even go back. We couldn't be asked. Oh, so it was there. probably there. <laughs> I was like, well, it's gone You're now. kidding. Well, it's gone now. Um, oh. well, yeah. no, probably I've still got no time there. for that. <laughs> <laughs> it was our own fault. But, um, yeah, stupidity and oh, drunkenness. And James decided to not go back as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Well, he was like, come on, we've got to walk back. You know, the word walk put me off. Right. So okay. I was like, I ain't doing that. So uh, I'm, I'm terrible with money when it comes to, you know, being drunk. Um, mm-hmm. So many times I've gotten wild at a night out or at a festival. I remember I was doing my taxes and I, I was in July just going through it and I could just see all these payments at, you know, Tomorrowland and it was just like, oh, you stupid <laughs> twat. <laughs> There's a... Uh, the worst one I've done at Tomorrowland was uh, on the last day. The, 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 the group was lagging a little bit, so I thought, we'll get some vodka. So I got a bottle of Absolute Vodka, and it was an absolute rip-off. Um, <laughs> uh, seriously, it was. Uh, I think it was 160 quid. Jesus oh, Christ. Yeah. For a bottle of vodka? Well, they charge you by the shop when you're in uh, like bars and stuff, yeah. places oh, right. that sell it. So, oh, so, I, uh, so it's 100 not quid for a bottle of... Yeah. You could get for 15 Christ. quid. I once went through like a whole... Like a month thinking, I'm like, saving up for money because our uh, Pokemon was in my head. And I was like, I want to play Pokemon. How old were you? Uh, it was funny enough last year. <laughs> <laughs> just in my head, I was like, Pokemon, I, just something's come into my head, Pokemon. So I was saving up for this DS, saving up for the new Pokemon game, got it. And as soon as I got it, Pokemon was no longer an interest of mine. Lose it. <laughs> I played it once. I was like, oh, I'm bored. Has anyone ever spent uh, money on them paper play games? This like mainly phone ones where you yeah. can speed, like you know. Uh, no, I did. You once. can speed your farm up by yeah. paying. Oh you, no, you did. I did once. Go on. It was a uh, clash of clans. Clash of clans. Yeah. Remember we, we, yeah, we were in a clan. We were. And then we got bitterly divided. <laughs> <laughs> Join rival, started rival clan. <laughs> this has happened before. <laughs> We uh yeah th- those those things are awful though like yeah. the amount of money those things make yeah like Ridiculous. I'm talking billions yeah Activision like, made like a billion last year through uh, FIFA FIFA's FIFA, the worst FIFA one. points and packs Cards, and all that yeah, yeah. FIFA dollars. Ridiculous. and and the games aimed at you know like young teenagers yeah and it is just oh open a pack you might get a good player yeah. it's it's yeah. just gambling uh, gambling for kids yeah it's shocking. Bad. EA, you're on the list. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what's the worst thing you've done for money? Well, it's oh, probably sorry. like this stuff for a quid, isn't it? When I first met Max, he used to be, you know, I'll do anything for a quid. Which me and Tom may have taken advantage of. <laughs> uh, I think you went in the river for a quid. Probably. Pre- pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, we were sick of that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> the hospital bills are low. <laughs> Just a load of mercury. <laughs> Uh, I did a bit of door to door. Yeah. Just after leaving college and that. I did a uh, yeah. That was for about a week, and I was like, "This is depressing." Yeah. I don't think I ever got paid for. That. <laughs> to be fair, I do think you know you, you are right. <laughs> Doing the bar work is probably the worst thing I've done. For yeah. Money. No. I, with you, surely the Wonga loan is the worst thing you could do for money because it's just so <laughs> dodgy. Did you, did you get a Wonga loan? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. Our sponsors this week are oh, what? No. <laughs> I got a Wonga loan, yeah. I, I, Talk us through it, go on. It was just like free money at the time. Yeah. You don't really think of like the interest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no interest and in interest. <laughs> I mean, you literally have to kind of do the bar, don't you, to see what the interest is as you're doing it. Yeah, you don't pay attention to that though, do you? 
You're just like, oh, money. Well, sweet. most people do. What, what did you spend the the <laughs> Probably money a bar- on? Probably a bucket or something. Oh, you know I mean? Max. This is a dark time in my life. <laughs> um, a wong alone for fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. The colonel would be shaking his head at you. The thing that really annoyed me about Wonga was like a few months after I paid off my Wonga loan. They wanted it back. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the really nice lady in the show. <laughs> I paid off the Wonga loan and then like a few months later it's like Wonga's gone into administration you don't have to pay anything back oh gutted you just say like if I just held out yeah. and gone into debt <laughs> I think he's probably you know I, I respect you more that you didn't to be honest yeah, yeah at least learn that lesson I don't want your respect I'd rather have money what's the monetary <laughs> value of that respect like Tom I think my my worst thing would have been a job that I did yeah. uh, I, di- I did better wear and that was just painful mm. but you could work for a whole week and not get anything from it you, you're relying on people oh, buying stuff yeah, from the magazine yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it just takes that. forever yeah. and uh, yeah that was dark times <laughs> exploitative wait for the movie Stephen tries I've, <laughs> I've lived a life you know uh, <laughs> wait for the Santander scene <laughs> oh, it's quite a depressing podcast so far yeah Let's let's spice things up then with Stephen Lies. Stephen Lies. Stephen Sweet Lies. Stephen Lies. Stephen lies. Sweet lies. Uh, Tom, <laughs> you're fired. Of what? Uh, <laughs> you uh, you have been the worst detective in Stephen Lies. I wasn't history. given time. You were oh, given three I weeks. I wasn't given uh, time to turn it around. Was it three weeks? Yeah, three weeks. I no, hired you I thinking you could be my John Watson. Instead, you're his John. I don't know any John. John Titson. John Travolta. Uh, Dave, you're yes. back to being the detective. Yeah, yeah. thank you. You know, back to solve not? some crimes. Dave, this week uh, we have two truths and one lie. Oh, okay, I'm pointing out the lie, I suppose. You are. Okay. You need to find the liar amongst us. Okay. Um, who would you like to go first? I'd like you to go first, Stephen. Okay, yeah. Dave. Uh, <laughs> Tommy, you throw me off there. It's <laughs> not on. So bitter. Uh, Dave, <laughs> I sent an arse picture in exchange for money. <laughs> okay, okay. And that didn't come up in the previous... Bit. Sorry. <laughs> Tom? Uh, after, a, after a hard day's work, putting my feet up on the train home cost me in excess of 500 quid. Wow, and that didn't come up in the final. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Max? Paramedics stopped me from stealing five pounds from a drunk man. Okay, okay. Max, would you like to elaborate? No. <laughs> well, the police would like you to. <laughs> That's okay. A few years back. Right. Quite a few years back. Um, and <laughs> there I am, strolling down the street with uh, uh, five pounds in my pocket. A uh, guy comes up to me and he's like, oh, I need a taxi to get home. So I was like, I'll call you a taxi. Here's the fiver. You got um, the photo one guy. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one more day, please. <laughs> um, so I gave him the five pounds, called him a taxi. Uh, we're talking, and he just drops on the floor, uh, right. unconscious. Gone. Uh, gone. Um, so I decide to call an ambulance, because I don't know what to do. Um, mm-hmm. The ambulance gets there. They put him on a stretcher, about to put him in the in the ambulance. I realise he's still got my five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so I want it back. I want it back, because yep. he's not going to use it for Naturally. a taxi at this Agreed. point. You know. So I'm going up to him, put my hand in his pocket, Obviously, the paramedics are like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I gave him a fight. No, no, you didn't. Go. <laughs> so I had to leave as yeah. my five pound was taken F- off to a hospital. Five pound poorer. Yeah. I bet he woke up quite happy. Yeah, yeah. He had a... He had a he uh, cot. If he did at yeah. all. He, did, yeah, he yeah. had a cot for the night. <laughs> <laughs> no, after I got my fucking hands on him. Slash the, <laughs> slash the ties of the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know who you are, where you are, but you're on the list. <laughs> you never got it back. Um, no. Yeah, sure, you said that, didn't you? Not yet. <laughs> so I followed in a taxi. One <laughs> <laughs> <Tell laughs> <you laughs> <like> ambulance. <laughs> One I need another ten of quid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Tommy. Yeah. Tommy Mono. Tom. Dave. Open up. So point. Uh, so yeah, I was... I had a bit of a headache that day on my way home from work. And uh, I started taking some painkillers. And I'm kind of kind of cradle in my head because you know I'm on a busy train yeah a Mersey rail train so if you I don't know if you know them uh, well you're not not supposed to put your feet on the seat but Mersey rail trains are on like a kind of uh, metal bit and then it's the seat right so I kind of had my foot wedged just so I could 
rest my head. Yeah. Anyway, some jobs worth uh, transport officer. Yeah, you know, the whole kind of yeah, he stops me, he's filming, and he takes me to one side, then he issues me with a fine. Um, I had I had all my name and stuff on me badge because I was working at the time, you know, working yeah, somewhere yeah. where I had it all on me, so I couldn't really lie my way out of it, uh, and I wasn't feeling very well, and I was young and I was naive. <laughs> uh, so what what fifty pound fine? 50. Like you say, I kind of buried my head with it. I was gonna chase it, but because it happened in Liverpool, the court was in it was in like Birkenhead or something, so I never went and. Rough. Yeah, before I know it, bailiffs are coming round and Jesus. end up being like 500 quid. And I just thought, this is, it's living with me, mum. I can't be putting that on her. No, so. no, no. Yeah. That's why I had to pay my parking so I just had to pay it. Okay, okay. Uh, Steve? Hi. Um, <laughs> this happened in the early days of the channel, right? Uh, 2016. Okay. I had a, a Patreon, which is where, you know, people can sort of donate to help with, you know, making the videos and yeah. stuff. And there's one bloke in particular who sort of you can pay more and there's different levels to each amount you pay yep. and this guy I think that it was just open to pay any amount but everyone was paying like two quid three quid and he paid I think it was he was like 20 quid a month oh god I have to make some sort of perk for yep, this yep. so the perk was um, I'll have like a one on one conversation with you not, not in a weird way not in public but just <laughs> just like on, on the phone yeah yep. uh, I was speaking to him and he we got to the conversation of birthmarks. Right, okay. He said, have you got a birthmark? I was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then he said, oh, where is it? I said, like, it's just on the sort of side of my hip. He went, oh, can I see it? And because I, I sort of didn't want to lose the £20. <laughs> uh, you were young and, and I, needed yeah. it. Yeah. So, I, so I just sent the picture. And you, you can't see my arse crack, but it is it is there. Yeah, right, um, okay. And, and I sent that. And then uh, it's when he replied, do you want to see mine? I thought... This has gone down a wrong alley. <laughs> so uh, I stopped Patreon pretty pretty much after, after that. After that, yeah. let put you off. It's got Max, nasty eyes. I agree with what you're saying. Uh, if I gave someone a fiver and they passed out, I would want that fiver back because they're no longer in use yeah. of it. Even, even if out. it meant prying out of Pry- a cold dead man's. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> is there, I would pay is a fiver for that. But uh, yeah, I would, along, I would do that as well. I would do that as well. And 20 quid is 20 quid at the end of the day, so yeah. a bit of arses ain't a problem for me. Uh, so <laughs> I've narrowed it down to that. So, Tom, I am going to say you are the liar. <sighs> Incorrect. <gasps> okay, I'm going to say yours is the last Correct. Well yes. done. Thank you. Thank you. You got there. Second time. Yeah. Second time. I most definitely would <laughs> take a final <laughs> match. How dare you? Leaved you in the end. Yeah. Leaved you in the end. You. Well I would have written that off. Uh, that fiver when the man was being wheeled into the back of the ambulance. <laughs> yeah. But that's just me. Um, well, well, I said he's clearly had a bad evening. Yeah. Called him an ambulance though. And you gave him the fiver genuinely and then he collapsed. He wouldn't could remember. Be, <laughs> could be, he could be dying. Uh, we don't know at that point. But no, you get your fiver back. <laughs> but didn't. Next question I've got is uh, do we care about money? What's your stance with it? Uh, I'm very generous. I like to think I'm very generous with money. Like, I'll, if I'm getting a like some beers in yeah. I'll bring it in I'll be like don't worry about paying it back I'm here to have a good time so that sort of thing if someone wants a bit of money I'm like can I borrow 20 quid here have it the next time we see you buy me a beer sort of thing I'm like one of them hmm. um, so I'm not that bothered on money no. I would like to have a lot of money yeah. but in the sense I don't really give a shit it's true. When, uh, when we went on the pub crawl me and Dave were going round for rounds yeah exactly yeah. exactly it was that's what I like. I like doing that. It's nice, yeah. isn't it? It's nice. You buy beer for beers for kids that didn't even want them. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about generosity? <laughs> they learned a this lot man offered day. them a place to stay. <laughs> uh, Max, what's your what's your approach? I do because other people care about money. Mm. If I went into Tesco and they said you can have all this for free, great. Mm. What about you, Tom? Uh, I used to be more money motiv- motivated. I'm kind of not anymore. I just think. Uh, I've seen so many examples of people who you'd think probably have a better life because they've got money. Yeah. And, you know, it doesn't, it obviously doesn't guarantee happiness. No. I've had stages in my life where I've been earning less and earning more. And you always kind of live to your means. Yeah. And I'm sure if I, I got more money, I would live to my means. And the same old problems don't necessarily go away. Mm. So I think you're better off figuring out what makes you happy. Yeah. And uh, finding peace with that than chasing money. Because. It's, it's a carrot on the end of a stick, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's, you'll never... If you're not enough without it, you'll never be enough with it. I know uh, 
Does that make sense? Gandhi that yeah. said, don't chase money, chase Galden. So, yeah. yeah. I'm a... Great friend of the podcast. Yeah. As well, so. <laughs> I used to be really not bothered about money. Uh, and then I think the more you get, the more you're like, yeah. oh, I had that much at one point, now it's less. It's and you, you sort of like, yeah. oh God, am I, am I going to lose it all? So it does become more of a concern, but I'm, I'm still generous with it. Yeah, I'd uh, say you're very generous yeah. with money, to be fair. Very no, generous. I just, I, I like to be liked. And I feel like <laughs> I have to buy that sometimes. Uh, with money, I'm, I'm awful in terms of business. My worst thing is returning items. So I'll buy something. And loads of times of, do you know that you get 30 days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's similar with the, the Santander thing. Yeah. I get, it gets right to the end of that and I'm like, oh, I need to do that. And it, I just you fuck can. it a lot of times, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I've got, I've just got, I've got a pink Adidas jacket, <laughs> <laughs> which I tried on and went, that is awful. <laughs> I, I look like some weird salmon. And, uh, <laughs> I can never wear that. Uh, and then it's still there today. Yeah. You've got to return it. Yeah. Terrible with that stuff. See, I'm like that, but just due to laziness, not yeah. forgetfulness. If I'm not going to a pe- place that yeah. returns it anytime soon, I won't bother. Yeah. I just remember I, I need I've to return something. It. <laughs> it's probably you need to return it. something? Uh, I just bought a table that uh, I didn't end up using. Oh, is that the one you were going to send the naked picture on? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's but, amazing. Uh, yeah, I got it and it wasn't as nice and vintage as I thought. It was a bit plasticky. Uh, so I need to send it back, but I need, I need to print off the return thing. Mm. And I ordered some ink, and that took about 20 days to come. <laughs> so I kind of forgot about it. I hope I'm not over the limit. It's like Dave when he's driving. What's the most money you've earned in one sort of go? Max, we'll go to you. Least at all. Same here. However, um, <laughs> oh, so, no. so when I uh, when I first agreed to do the tour, I, I heard, you know, figures that you know, I could only dream of, uh, still do dream of. I said, oh, should we get, should we get Max involved? They're like, yeah. And then they were negotiating Max's fee. Me and Will were like, oh, you can't offer him that. You need to offer him you know, a lot more. Appreciate uh, it. <laughs> if, we're, if we're going to earn this amount, you know, uh, Max should be earning a decent bit. We'll spend uh, that in a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me and Tom were filming. And uh, I got a text from Will saying, like, oh, God, uh, it, like the tour money's just not gone well at all. Um, and then I was like, what do you mean? And he said, me and you combined have earned less than Max. <laughs> And I just went. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, it's the most awkward thing when you mess because you mess me like you fucking bastard or something like that. Yeah. And I was just like, because we had been filming that day, so I was like, did I do something wrong with the the shot or something? And then probably. <laughs> but I, know, I yeah. think this was about the shot. <laughs> <laughs> But no, no that was honestly one of the most awkward yeah. situations. Yeah. So thank you for offering to give me the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he got he got he got sorted in the end, and uh, I got paid a fee. Nice, highest I ever got paid was about eight hundred quid from work. That's nice. So not not too bad, not too bad. No. That was for a month. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it was a lot more bad if you think about it like that. But uh, yeah, yeah. What about you, Tom? Uh, in one go. Um, well, I'm I'm freelance now, so I kind of invoice. Yeah. So, you know, no tax deductions. So my wages recently have been all right nice. prior to pandemic, yeah. stopping everything. In Pandemic's on the list. Yeah, you're on the list. <laughs> so, um, the TikTok video was, got a fair bit all in one go. That yeah. was nice. Similarly, cleared my uni overdraft. So thank you for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'm still dreaming of the big books. Yeah. <laughs> one day. Um, what's the most you found? I found uh, a Tesco gift card. Had fifty pound on it. Oh! Yeah. I was like, "Oh, is there any money on this?" I'm like, "Yeah, it's fifty quid." I'm like, "Yeah, that's fine." <laughs> 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 uh, I thought it would just be thrown nice, away. Yeah. But, uh, obviously not. I had a credit card that paid for mid drinks all night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did as well, didn't you? I found this copper in front of a homeless man. Yeah. About fifty quid. In. <laughs> you don't, mate. You don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I found a phone. It's probably the most expensive thing I've ever yeah. found. Mm. But I've done the honourable thing and handed it back into Sant and Dare. Oh, not Sant and Dare. Not, not Sant and Dare. They're a bank. Yeah. <laughs> <Don't>. oh, <okay. laughs> What's the, uh, the police. phone shop that begins with S, if there is one? Samsung? Samsung. No. Carphone Warehouse? Might have been Carphone Warehouse. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not an S, I but... Know, but <laughs> it has an S in it. it had, yeah, yeah, yeah. Carphone. maybe that was what you were doing there. Yeah, might have been. The blue one. Is it the blue one? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Carphone, that one. So, 
found the honourable thing. Nice. So what you just found a phone. A phone. It had yeah. no link to the car phone warehouse. Well, it, was, it was right by the shop. It was out oh, literally near on near Logic. on out like the lo- closest. I like, was in the mm-hmm. high street in Maidstone, right. and uh, so yeah, mm. we thought yeah, might must be. Yeah. yeah. And they said thanks. Nice. What about what you, they Tom? Would do? I'm forty quid at the races. Wow. Nice. Did you did you gamble it away or? A little bit. Yeah. I mean, I don't really. Not really into the races anyway. I was there kind of. Oh, we're not really into the races. Rel- reluctantly. Oh, More fuel oh, for this oh, racist oh, fire. See, I've got Jack. some of my favourites, but um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, so that was that was good. I don't think I've ever found any more. Cash wise, probably a fiver. Yeah. From my dad's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we probably found a few notes on the floor after uh, nights at Lyme, Friday, Saturday. Oh night. yeah. We probably found yeah. a little bit here and yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Dishonourable tips. Yeah. <laughs> Must have wish you'd been tipped yeah. when you were working. Oh. 20 quid, 20 20, quid, yeah. yeah. I was Uh working at Tiger, and one of the girls that uh, was on the bar with us, um, some Irish guy, obviously had a load of Euros, and he was like, you know, spending a lot of money, he must have been out for, for, I think he was over for some kind of sporting event, and he was going home the next day. Was it Conor McGregor? And he uh, (laughs) he just gave her 200 Euro. Jesus Christ. And he he was obviously like, it was like shamelessly flirting with her all night, and it wasn't obviously going to go anywhere, but men. Just a bit of fun. Idiots. Ah, <laughs> the things you do for a bit of skirt. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't mean a kilt. Uh, now it is time for IMAX. Um, can't lie, <clears throat> last week was a bit of a disappointment. Um, an anti-climax, if you will. Last week? Uh, <laughs> yeah, interesting. Uh, interesting you'd say that. Uh, <laughs> so, Max, I'm just hoping that, you know, we can sort of regather. Well, um, if you can cast your mind back to last week, we, uh, we yeah, had our, was first, just doing that. our first uh, <laughs> sponsor here at IMAX, uh, showed uh, soy sauce. Apparently a few bad apples, <clears throat> won't name names, um, contacted them and uh, gave a few complaints, which they uh, watched the segment and demanded I refu- review a fresh new movie. Yeah. Um, so I've decided to review a film based on, on the money situation. Um Oceans 8. Oh! So I've actually written a review here. Relatively a, new as well. A Reverted fresh new movie. It's 2018. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's 2019. Embarrassing for me. It's uh, 2020. That's why I don't do this. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, here goes. <clears throat> Oceans 8 IMAX review. The long-awaited sequel to Frank Sinatra's 1960 mega hit, Oceans 11. Oceans 8 brings the American heist movie screaming into the 21st century. Mixing Oscar winners like Sandra Bullock and Clay- Kate Blanchett with notable YouTubers like Rihanna Vivo's Rihanna and Aquafina, the movie smashes the patriarchy and gives the middle finger to misogynists everywhere. Set in New York, the film's plot revolves around Frank Sinatra character Danny Ocean's sister, Debbie Ocean, played stunningly by Sandra Bullock, as she plans a heist, the theft of an expensive necklace from the Met Gala. Along the way, she recruits a ragtag bunch of women who each possess the skills necessary to complete this act. The cast is a breath of fresh air in this tired old reviewer's lungs. Such performances I have not seen since A Bug's Life. <laughs> <laughs> My hat is off to director Gary Ross for getting every bit of talent out of these ladies. I also take my hat off to writer Gary Ross for writing such glorious characters who feel both fresh and alive. There is also a feast for the eyes. A cinematographer, Eagle Brilled, makes New York pop out of the screen. But what is to be expected of the man who brought, who worked tirelessly on In Bruges, where the city of In Bruges is as much of a character as Colin Farrell's character? <laughs> My only issue is that we've had to wait 60 years for the sequel, which really throws the timeline into disarray. I would have liked to have seen CGI'd Frank Sinatra in the film, maybe, crooning away and singing some show tunes very much like he probably did in the original movie. I give this movie... Probably. <laughs> depth. I give this movie the coveted IMAX award of five stars out of ten. <laughs> Thank you. Any questions? Uh, oh, sorry, what Dave, was no, that? Uh, so, it's not based on George Clooney's one, then? I always thought it was the... Uh... There is there is a picture of George Clooney in it, and she that's, visits his yeah, grave. And that's what I thought it was. His character, yeah, and she is related to him. It's his brother, yeah, her brother. Do you know what? It's probably the, the, the they're called the same, maybe. <laughs> There's Ocean's Twelve, Ocean's Thirteen. 13 yeah, where are these? Films? I, I, I've only seen eight. 
I thought I'd assume those would come after eight. But even in the review <laughs> itself, you've alluded to the fact that you've done no research <laughs> by saying he probably did that in the original film. You're well, talking I'm, about. I'm not, you, you're you, talking you about demand. How, you demand I watch fresh new movies. Sure, sure. I'm but, not going to watch a film from 1960. No, but it takes two seconds to know if Frank Sinatra has sung some tunes in the first film. Apparently, you've been so eagerly awaiting it. <laughs> I assumed you would have seen the first film. <laughs> well, I probably did. Can't a long wait time for the ago. sequel of this film. I've never seen. <laughs> and there's there's some you know lovely poetic language Thank that you. you described uh, in Bruges. Yeah. Uh, lovely. There's a lot of words in here that are quite long and you know, yeah. sort of I, mispronounced them. I do question referring to Rihanna as a YouTuber. <laughs> uh, Rihanna Vivo, it's um, popular Rihanna YouTube. Vivo. Uh, yeah, Rihanna, the, the singer's more popular, I believe. Don't listen to music. Right. Don't care for <laughs> songs or. You really spoke of it quite highly, but then you gave it yeah. five out of ten. Yeah. Which, yeah. if you saw that online, you'd think, oh, I won't watch that. That's Does, a, bad, uh, that's a yeah. bad rating. There's well, no, no, it's average. There's no constructive no. criticism. Yeah. Which well, be... it's already been made, so I don't know. Again, what it, I and, can... and it doesn't seem like something you've written. I mean, I'm sure you probably did, but it just, I don't know, it came across like you were just, like you Googled something. And... No, I, 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 okay. I don't use Google. <laughs> Max, surely you know that her character, Debbie Ocean. Yeah. Her brother was Danny Ocean. Which is what uh, who George Frank Clooney's Sinatra character plays in yeah. the original film. But then Ocean's Eleven is the one with... Yeah. Ocean's George Eleven Green. is a 1960 movie with Frank Sinatra. But then they made another one. George Clooney. A lot more recently. Yeah. I wouldn't know. Well, you would know because you, you'd see in the film a picture what? of... I saw a picture of George, George Clooney, George Clooney. But I've, I've got a picture of George Clooney at my house. <laughs> but then I'm she was looking at it at the memorial. Yeah. Does and it, his name was under it. Well, his name Danny Ocean. Like, yeah. How many were The name Danny Ocean. If there is a remake, which I assume it is, <laughs> then I assume George Clooney is playing Frank Sinatra. And you didn't character. question the, the random picture of George Clooney. <laughs> is this a prank? <laughs> no, I, 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 I would never do that. I feel like you're a little bit rusty with your movie yeah. reviews. Um, new low? I wouldn't say a new low. That's the Sponsored by Shoda Soy Sauce. No, no, you're not sponsored. <laughs> you're not sponsored. You're not sponsored. You're not you don't sponsored, have a sponsor. Max. You can't just say a random brand name mm. and hope that they'll sponsor it. doesn't work like that. Right, sponsored by AF Antibacterial. Don't just grab something from the no? desk and say. <laughs> oh, don't sponsored. do that. Right, okay. <laughs> My apologies. I've literally been on the phone to show the soy sauce for the last week. It shows because you haven't done much. <laughs> Max, just go out and have go and have yeah a couple of minutes to yourself because give your head a wobble. And I, uh, there's an improvement, yeah. but it, thank yeah, you. I just don't think it's it's quite there, mate. Yeah, New and fresh. That's, that's putting it Just nicely. Just what you wanted. Don't think yeah. there has been an improvement. <laughs> I preferred the other shit that you were doing, which was shit, shit. but not as shit ha- as hey, that. Hey, come on, you two. Let's just keep things that's simple. Cool. Thank you for IMAX there. Uh, or not. Yeah. Uh, I watched Ocean's 8 the other day. Oh, did you? Yeah. I've never seen it. Hello? Yeah, hello, mate. Excuse me, sir. Uh, hello? Hello, mate. You are right. Oh, oh, good, thank you. Uh, <laughs> sorry to... Question you on the spot here, but who are you? You don't remember me? I'm really sorry, mate. Uh... <laughs> okay. Well, this is funny. This is funny because if I remember correctly, last last year you were doing some some pod- podcasts and you mentioned me in one of them. I've had a lot of phone calls about that podcast and a lot of court cases. <laughs> That's right. It's only me, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, Buster. I want an apology. What for? For giving, oh. a, for giving an accurate description of your work. A little girl sits on my leg. Oh, don't waste that. that is what You're you, shaking, don't waste that. That is what you said, though. That's not what I said. It's exactly what you no, said. No, I'd <laughs> never say that. The reason I've been so late to get here is because I've been in prison for the last year. We weren't expecting you. Uh, you know how hard it is to get to Manchester when you can't go within 50 yards of a school? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I've got no idea what that's like. I can't say. Uh, yeah, but, this is a podcast, yeah? It is, Buster, yeah. Well, I've brought some evidence with me. Oh, okay. To prove that that night, I did not say what he says I said. This is unprecedented, but uh, if, if we could play that clip, is that possible? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. How are we, right? Lovely, lovely. Well, we've got a right treat for you. It is Saturday Night Live here. Would you please put your hands together and welcome onto the stage the comedy signings of Costa! Hello lads and ladettes, welcome to Buster's Comedy Dungeon, with me, Buster. <laughs> so, take me wife, please. 
What's the punishment for bigamy? Two mothers-in-law. <laughs> I bought my mother-in-law a chair for her 50th birthday, but the wife won't let me plug it in. Oh, this is really bad. Who said that? I am. <laughs> you got a problem with me jokes? The kids seem to love it. I mean, it's nonsense. To well, maybe for a 30-year-old like yourself, but the wienerpers eat this shit up like it's Cocoa Pops. Where's your kid anyway? I broke his leg. You watch. He started giving it and we just ended up having a fight. That's terrible. Wait, you don't actually have a kid, do you? Ah, uh, no, mate. So you're a 30-year-old childless man. Learn about having a child so you can enjoy my jokes. Yeah. Well, mother-in-law jokes can be enjoyed for all ages, can't they, guys? <coughs> Wait a minute. Bloody hell, it's Tom Looney from that podcast. I really don't like the name of that segment. No one does though, do they? LOL mate. Anyway Tom, what did you think of IMAX this week? Good show. Oh, that's poker that. Buster, um, it's great that you could bring this evidence to light. Um, it's a worry. We don't want to be done for defamation of character. And defamation of such a funny character as well. Yeah. Uh, we, no, we, won't want to, we won't want to take that act away from the kids. <laughs> they bloody love their mother-in-law jokes. <laughs> uh, Buster... Uh, how's work been since that? Oh, it's been tough. Yeah. People in prison don't have mother-in-laws. Really? <laughs> Apparently not, because most of them will kill their wives. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very dark time for me, I have to say. Is there anything we can do for you? Probably kick Tom Looney off the podcast. <laughs> that segment, I have to say, I used to play it in, uh, in, in solitary confinement as a form of torture. <laughs> okay. uh, what do what'd you think of IMAX? It's one of the best things about movies. I don't even care for movies. I just love me some IMAX. Is that? There's no way this is legit. <laughs> is that... I just, I just love me some IMAX so is bloody that... much. Sorry, what did you? You're that, you're that fella. You look like someone that... we knew when you took that... your yeah. hat off. What? Tom, could you, could you take his hat and glasses off, please? Sure. Uh... <gasps> bloody hell, are you doing, man? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a minute. No, it, Max. Uh, well, I had my suspicions. I didn't want to say anything. I'm not, I'm not gonna, Are you joking? I'm not, I'm, you you come in here in that disguise, fool us all, and play that. something you've doctored. Yes. Just to drag Tom Looney's name through the mud. Well, he probably does that himself. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard this segment? <laughs> uh, not, at uh, at not at all. No, I, I've never once come after you in my segment. I wouldn't abuse the uh, the sanctity of the podcast segment. <laughs> to try and take down, you know, some a colleague, a friend. Uh, See, you've, I, you've... I, I, I hate to do this, um, Tom. I can't just sit here idly by with what I know and that you defend yourself like that because it's not true. Um, Joe, could we play the clip, please? Uh, obviously, planning it now. I, I don't have anything in mind. Um, you're you're, you're killing Max that. Smith because he's taking the piss out of Looney again, Tom Looney, and you can't have that. So, like, war I'd is probably, on. I mean, I'd, Befriending them makes it very easy. Yeah. And okay. then we go for a walk near a cliff. Right. <laughs> okay. And then you just push There's probably no bit. CCTV around there. Yeah, I'm true. I'm and true. Wife Max is wearing a GoPro on his head. Yeah, filming a sketch. <laughs> He's got full evidence of you pushing. <laughs> no, Tom, why? I mean, I, I'm sure I can make it look an accident. That was, uh, that was yesterday, Max. So... All joking aside, yeah. you know, we've been friends for a long time. Um, and it's a bit strange that you've planned to kill me. Um, <laughs> there was mention of poison. I don't like to throw him a bit more under the bus. This whole thing. This he whole did also th mention throwing you under a bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Choose my words very carefully here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this whole thing has been a bit of fun for the fucking podcast. Okay, I'll stop you there. Um... And, and now you're threatening to murder me. I don't know who's responsible for this. Uh, that clip. You <laughs> are! That, that clip it's, was... It's not been doctored. That there's no way that can be doctored. Uh, it's missing very important context. Uh, I, very important context. I know how I easy it is to doctor it. footage. <laughs> yeah. Tom, yeah. Uh, me, me and Dave were in the car with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and I think what was the... How would you kill someone? Uh, I don't remember And then the, the, the example That's of That's very well thought out. That's a great way to kill someone. Uh, well, it is. I mean, I'm very good at answering questions, uh, but look, look, little did I know that. It and I can't even understand what your motivation for this is. Like, what was your motivation for killing Max? That's clear. 
Well, I was answering a question. You're frightened of what IMAX is. Frightened. You're frightened of the great movie reviews that I give no every one's fucking week. Of IMAX. Frighteningly bad, but <sighs> look, it's it's not nice for me, Dave and Joe, to sit here and and see you two. Didn't have to play that. Clip, we were did once you? good friends. <laughs> or record it. Come at each other. Or doctor it. We have to get everything out on the table today. You two can't go on like this. Um, there's no two ways that IMAX and Tom Looney can. Well, I've said get rid of IMAX. I've said it from day one. <laughs> well, and emails have said to me, get rid of Tom Looney. <laughs> we'll we'll put it to the viewers then. Um, Tom Looney or IMAX? Please let us know which one stays. We'll put a we'll put a. Oh, you can't put it to the viewers. <laughs> the public voted Tory. You can't. <laughs> which is good. You, can't you were them. one of them, Tom. It seems. Uh, we'll we'll put it up to you guys. And they don't know what they want. You, do. <laughs> you want the freshest, Tom, newest movie yourself. reviews. Gotta, whichever one you vote for will stay. Okay. You're voting for which one you want to stay. Uh, you can't find this on Google. You can only find it from a curious find that mind. On Google. Um, so, guys, uh, the power's in your hands now. Please use it wisely. Open your eyes. See what's going on here. This uh, goes right to the top of the podcast. <laughs> hey, Stephen, tricking me. Convicted murderer or reviewer? Convicted. <laughs> Uh, reviewer <laughs> you're as much of a reviewer as I am a convicted murderer anyway Dave Raves it's Dave's Raves Dave's, Dave's Raves, raves. Yeah. gotta get those Dave's, Dave's raves. raves he's angry <laughs> <laughs> so this week on topic is uh, money that's so, so true I've tried this has gone with the theme again lovely um, and my, my rave is if I was a multi-billionaire yeah I would be a fat bastard <laughs> Uh, that was my like. Honest, I would not move. Yes, yeah, I'd I'd mm. hire people to do a lot of things for me. Yeah. So for example, I'd hire someone to answer my phone if it's ringing. Nice. And it's ringing in my pocket. I'm like, uh, Ooh, a bit seedy. <laughs> it's like, excuse me, my phone's ringing. You expect me to reach into my pocket and get it. Yeah. And if no one's there in the first five seconds, people will be getting fired. Dave, could I ask how much would a person answering your phone? How much would they earn a year, do you reckon? Uh, Is that their sole job? That, that necessarily, yeah. I'd, I'd have a person for each thing, you know. Lovely. So you'd be surrounded constantly by, by an entourage of like a hundred people, oh, each yeah. one entourage. specifically it's to do a certain someone thing. Someone to pour me drinks and bring it over to me, that's their sole job. They yeah. work on commission. I'll tend to so so I, was watch, <laughs> I was watching, uh, I think it was, is it Phil Hader? Uh, talking about the guest that they're on Saturday Night Live, and he said Justin Bieber was the worst. Uh, Diva backstage, and he had people like one guy holding a drink for him to sip from, oh. one guy holding a piece of pizza for him to bite from. It's exactly. What I wouldn't I'd even like. like that. No, yeah. that's awful. Like it's See, almost, I would love it. It's just power play, isn't it? Yeah. I it's would gone. make it my solitary confinement to make sure. I Your solitary not. confinement. Uh, that's sort of like my dream with the cinema. Your yeah, soul aim. Soul aim. Sol- yeah, that's the word <laughs> I was going on about. Soul solitary aim. aim. Solitary aim. That's the yeah. one. What's confinement mean? It's, like, it's like when you're trapped when you're on your own. <laughs> that is not what I want. <laughs> <laughs> but Stuck I could in a situation. happily be sat in front of a TV, PlayStation remote by my side. Yeah, I'd make yeah. sure there's a Mackie's built inside my house. That's lovely. Like, you know, have you ever seen Richie Rich? When he yeah. goes downstairs, that is That's just dream. That is a soul dream. And a house in every corner of the world. Yeah. I wouldn't even go it's to one of them. You heard, you heard of India? Yeah. <coughs> I own a few houses there. Have you ever been? <laughs> I own a slum or two. I uh, charge <laughs> over excessive rent for them. I want a bit more money on the side. <laughs> I uh, just put out Dave is not going to earn any more. <laughs> <laughs> For the and, good of the world, it seems. And this, oh, and this is the, the segment that is uh, is safe, apparently. <laughs> uh, the one I that can't be touched. Be safe. <laughs> Trying to throw shade on Dave Raves now. wonder what threats he's going to make to you now. Oh, no, next I'm, week. I'm just quite scared. It's, it's a shame, Tom. Dive. Um, and a closing statement is, how long did it take people to realise paper can be made out of trees? I love that statement. <laughs> good question. Uh, do you reckon people were carving on trees and then and thought, then realized, oh, this if, is great material. If we cut this thin enough, yeah. we will be able... And how does it turn white? I don't think it is just thin bits no, of tree. No, it's pulped up. It's pulped up, yeah. yeah. Ah. And then they kind of... It goes, goes through a process and then that's how they make it. That does make sense. Yeah. So they, they did sense. do that initially where they just used the substance Spark. as it was. And I think it was... was it yeah, papyrus. 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 Yeah. Not, not papyrus. 
<laughs> um, papyrus leaves. Yeah. But yeah. Egyptian times, I believe. I've yeah. got a question for you all. Go um on. What uh, what do you think the limit should be, or do you think there should be a limit on how much you can earn, like Jeff Bezos's hundred or billion? <laughs> I, I reckon you can't spend that money in multiple lifetimes. It is a problem when people can't eat people yeah. that have enough. I mean, when people are literally earning legally below what is considered a living wage, yeah. and all these people that are billionaires are probably somewhere down the chain employing these people and responsible for indirectly paying them. Yeah. So the fact that they've got they hoarding money. Uh, oh, yes. It's it's a bit of a problem, I think. That's where Bill Gates gets it right. He earns and let me earn su- such amount, for example, and uh, gives, he gives it yeah. to charity. I reckon if you earn over fifty billion pounds or dollars, or whatever it is, you've got enough. Yeah. Your kids, 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 and kids, and kids, and kids. Russian doll situation mm. uh, goes on. They've sorted for life. Anything over fifty billion, I reckon you should start. Your family for generations is secure. Yeah, it will never need to be a cap. It's exactly. I I still don't get like with with the Jeff Bezos situation. What nearly two hundred billion dollars? <laughs> it would be like such a a baller move if he just went. Oh, world hunger! Boom! I've sorted it. Yeah, that would get him more money because more people would go. Oh, Amazon just solved. Well, you know, world crisis. That's insane. The whole like Flint, Michigan, with the the, the the water, the infected water stuff. But apparently, that will cost X amount of millions to solve, which for some reason the government haven't done. But again, if you just went, oh yeah, here's you know throwing pennies at it. But I I, I just don't get why you wouldn't just do these things anyway. Because if you're known as the person that did that, mm. I, uh, yeah, good thing. I mean that, that. I mean that reputation in itself is yeah. worth a lot. Yeah, exactly. Dare I say, I it, Jeff Bezos is on the list. <laughs> oh, no. Sit tight next to Santander and Ch- Child Reach International, you scum. Should we have? Uh, oh, sorry. Thank you for Dave's race. Oh, that's Dave's race. Dave's, Dave's race. race. Oh, you had that Dave's race. Thank yeah. you. Thank um, you for listening. Should we have some Tom Looney? Sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pop out for a bit. Hey, oh, come on, oh, come on. Oh. Well, it's just obviously I. Uh, uh, shame I couldn't do this before. The uh, tension in the room. <laughs> Not There's always ch- tension in the room, Tom. Yeah. I've seen the glances you give to Max. Okay, uh, so um, for this week on Tom Looney, uh, I was looking at some of the worst things that the UK government has spent our taxes on. One year that we wasted 26 billion uh, purely on computer blunders, IT mistakes, ah. uh, and uh, there was a we paid 12.7 billion pounds for the NHS to start using this electronic records thing. Uh, which, when it came to it, yeah. uh, I think 200 out of the 9,000 health organisations actually used it. Uh, oh. So that was a bit of a write-off. Waste. Uh, this one's fun. Uh, back in 2007, we spent uh, 60 million on a recovery agency to uh, recover um, the, the, the assets from criminal thieves. Uh, the, nice. the 60 million pound we spent on them, they managed to get us 8 million back. Oh. So that was good. But from criminals, though. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, we spent some sent some phones to Iraq for some military thing. Uh, we lost track of a Snapchat. couple of them, and uh, they racked up six hundred thousand pounds of phone bill. We didn't know where they were, but we just paid it off with taxpayers' money. <laughs> so that was fun. Uh, this one's good. Eight hundred million wasted to help people feel European. So this is like a um, a program that member EU member states were part of, and it cost us eight hundred million. And it was for people aged 13 to 30 to feel more European. So it'd be things like, uh, you know, folk dancing and basket weaving and these events. Uh, when you actually looked into what we spent it on, we spent it on sending a lot of uh, children of government officials away on things like ski trips and stuff. Oh. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, we wasted 2.4 million on a website to give people local cycle routes. It's not very in depth though, and one already exists. They could have just posted a link. Um, <laughs> Cheshire East Council spent £30,000 building two ponds for 18 newts, which were displaced by the construction of a bypass. <laughs> Fun fact about newts. Uh, if you've got newts, you're not allowed to build uh, where they once were, well, where they are. Well, I think that's, yeah, so that's yeah, links in with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, leave, leave that to me, mate. Um, <laughs> should, we, uh, should we stop Tom Nooney there before it gets too hostile? <laughs> sure. Uh, got some more stuff, though. Um... Cotswolds Council hired a motivational magician to boost staff morale. That cost him 19 grand. <laughs> but hey, that fun. goes to a magician. All right. Yeah. Well done to Tom Moody there. 
government is wasteful. Yeah. So wasteful. Who needs them? You don't even realise. You, you're saying 200 billion there. Yeah. That's uh, just. No mental. worse than having your time wasted, though. <laughs> well, you know, it's a bit shit kind of when you have to do your segment after you realise that the whole fucking podcast is against you. <laughs> We're not, but, you know, there's a line that we have to draw here, and threatening another's life is, is not on, Tom. Right. Imagine if I died, the structure of the podcast would be awful. Improved. Because, sorry. <laughs> people would be what you know, I, there's a lot of people that just watch it purely for yeah, yeah. IMAX. Yeah. Max, you've murdered many a film, so let's just let's just calm yeah. ourselves here, alright? We know he's the king of uh segments here. Stephen Lies, nice. thank you. <laughs> Look, we don't have to have your segments. I've got loads of really good ones. Yeah. Uh even tries. I have to do things on an even a number of attempts. <laughs> That's gold. Stephen Fry's, you know. Yeah. I'll ring Stephen Fry, see if he answers. He might not. Uh, well, Stephen yeah. Cries, what I do after these podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> so much gold here. Yeah. Stephen Highs. Highs. Gets um, high. Yep. Yeah. Baker selection of pies. Yeah. Stephen themed. Um, Stephen Steve. Wise. Oh, that is actually good. Stephen Wise. Speaking of which, should we have put it to the max? Stephen Spies. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I did that did that this week and I caught you out, didn't I? So. Yeah. Stephen tells porcupines. Okay. Porcupines. Uh, porcupines. Unless I'm just giving knowledge to porcupines. <laughs> <laughs> should we have some put it to the max then, yeah? Yeah, come on. Put it to the max. Need a pallet cleanser. You two need to give your best for this now. Energy. This is a. Uh, yeah. Hi Stephen, Tom, Max and Dave and Joe, hashtag free Joe McGrath. <laughs> I'm Millie, 16, I listen from Nottingham and really enjoy listening along. Uh, my, yeah. Thank you Millie from yeah. Nottingham. Cheers. Uh, my where, pro- uh, Bigfoot was found. Oh yeah, cold spies. <laughs> <laughs> my problem is, I dated this boy two years ago from 13 to 14. He was a horrible boyfriend. He would dump me when his friends ever spoke about me. He always hung out with girls without talking to me and would force me to make YouTube videos with him. He keeps trying to uh, send us a link. Um, he keeps <laughs> trying to get back with me now, <laughs> and even his mum is getting involved. But I hate him, and I don't want to get back with him. What do I do? Don't know if you boys will know, but it's worth a shot. Thank you. She doesn't want to get back with him. No. My advice is don't get back with him. Right there. Cut to the chase. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Obviously, she's obviously worried because you know he's seems kind of know, quite a domineering character, and he's pursuing her. He said, "Mum's getting involved. That's obviously not going to be very comfortable yeah, for her." His, His mum. Oh Must fuck like, off! Oh, weird's that? Yeah, that's really mom, weird. Mum, mum, this is going off, really mom. Nice. So I feel quite. So I feel quite sorry because it sounds like maybe you're getting a little bit overwhelmed because obviously yeah. Yeah. the decision from the outside looking in is clear. Distance yourself from the. Cut it sounds breaks. like the guy that would yeah. wear double denim. <laughs> yeah. I know it's obviously more difficult when you're in it, but seriously, yeah, just stay well away. I'm um, assuming 16 is like when you leave school, yeah. after college. Yeah. So hope, hopefully you're not around him at that point. Yeah. But, he sounds yeah. like he might have issues. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yes, that is difficult. I understand. But speak to your, speak to your friends. Maybe speak to the police. If she sent uh, us a link. We could see what he looks like. Then. Yeah. Exactly. We could threaten to batter him if you want. Yeah. We could get him cancelled. <laughs> um, yeah. Cancel culture. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Who yeah. The fuck Millie, please? Millie, if he carries on like this, uh, yeah. get back in touch and uh, just ruin his life. Yeah. 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 Who brings yeah. their mum into situations yeah. like yeah, this? He's on the list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit tight with Mike Ashley. With Mike Ashley. Yeah. No, or wasn't. maybe make a recording and secretly talking, but give it to us out of context so we can use it. Try me every time. Don't clap this I mean, wannabe yeah, thank murderer. You. Joe McGrath knows a little bit about being <laughs> fucking... Don't yeah. try and get people on your side. Take them down Because <laughs> they'll be on your left-hand side when you push them off a cliff. Um, hi, Stephen, Max, Dave and Tom. I'm just writing to tell you that I recently spotted Max on a park bench looking lonely. <laughs> Who's this from? Uh, this is from Jake. Uh, Jake Clipson Cox. <laughs> yeah. Clips and cooks. Double barrel. Oh, yeah. right. that was a website. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he's looking lonely on a bench. However, that wasn't the most concerning part. He was sat there watching Bend It Like Beckham, <laughs> which I do not believe is one of the freshest movies available to review. Love the podcast. Keep it up. Also, you've reviewed that before. Well, actually, no, I didn't. That was right. uh, okay. That was Stephen. I, uh, um, I had to. Yeah, Stephen was in that film. I did give Max the the task of you know, it's just watch it. It's uh, this was this was this was early in my career of being a film reviewer. Yeah. Uh, and it was a tough one to go up against. Uh, I feel like now, now I've I've got the capabilities of giving 
the great IMAX, uh, coveted IMAX award to the Bend It Like Beckham film. Um, obviously, in this hectic day-to-day life that I live. I've seen on a park bench. You, you, yeah. you, you, you've got to get your films in wherever you can. You know, yeah. be it on a park bench or... I mean, this is the third segment you've kind of hijacked. <laughs> well, obviously, one's your own anyway. But, uh, yeah, let's just keep it on, on topic. Well, he's asking why I was watching Bend It Like Beckham. Yeah. I'm explaining. Yeah, OK. Right. What's your space? <laughs> Okay, hey, listen, Steve, you, uh, Max, like Dave and Luna Cooney. Recently I spotted Max at the local View Cinema while I was watching a film. He was sat with a hot date. Oh, nice. Uh, he was with a hot date at the time. Uh, sorry, I say he was, yeah, he was with a hot date at the time, but throughout the film he kept making unfunny jokes and remarks and he was trying to review the film. <laughs> he did a shit job of reviewing it. Halfway through the film, this hot date got fed up with his reviewing and left the cinema. Can I have your guys' thoughts on this and Max's response to it? Uh, loving the weekly pods. Always a barrel of laughs. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Many thanks. Much love. Heard this week's <laughs> It sounds like, you know, Max is getting a little bit cocky in the cinema, maybe, no. thinking that's his home turf. Max, you've got to remember and be respectful of other people when yeah. you're in the cinema. You should know that. Exactly. Yeah. You, you can't go in there thinking you're Billy Big Bollocks and yeah. uh, just blabber over whatever film you're watching. You've upset your date. God knows what you've yeah. done to other people there. And I guess, obviously, you know. Uh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he brought in his own. You know, table. everything was going. Everything was falling apart, and then just a little bit of chance comedy <laughs> kind, of, kind of brings us back to it. Yeah. Um, to be clear, they're still losing one of the segments. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've got to remember that you're you're a role model, and how you conduct yourself when you're outside of the studio is is. It is important because people do, mm. people look into you, you know, as so. a, anyway. Uh, I, think, I remember after the Picket of the Garden incident, we had a HR meeting and mm. we did tell you, you really got to hone in on your actions. Mm. And We don't want any more reports of this weird behaviour out, out and about. <laughs> but guys, if you do see Max out and about, please report yeah. him. I do okay. I hey boys, this is awkward because you're all friends with this guy. In fact, he's in the room with you right now. I thought Graph. it might be helpful for, for me to get, to get past, uh, if I get everything off my chest and get this person involved, so here it goes. Walking through the city with my mum, we spotted Max sitting on a bench on the high street <laughs> in his usual attire. Yeah, Bla- Black bin bag, bed. no socks. <laughs> At his feet, a soggy Primark bag, Yu-Gi-Oh card wrappings and what seemed to be a pint of milk next to his <laughs> naked bunions. He's holding a portable DVD player in front of his face, eyelashes touching the screen, headphones on, world out. He must be doing his homework for IMAX, actually. I wanted to go over, but I had to approach with caution. (laughs) Because it seemed he was getting really into the film. I asked him, what film are you watching? He says, Madagascar 5, of course. The best film ever made, with the best animation and character development, of course. I looked over to the DVD player, but the screen is completely black with a horrible crack scarring <laughs> <laughs> from its corners. The headphones weren't even plugged in, for fuck's sake. We should have known that this was a mistake. We got talking about what he's been up to <laughs> expressing to him that I'm a big fan of the work he and the boys do. This continues for a couple of minutes, then suddenly the conversation drives to a halt. I notice he's staring at something behind me. I turn and notice a magpie. <laughs> <laughs> He mutters to himself, no, the bastard, no, not today. I looked at my mum and I could see fear in her eyes. I ask, is everything all right, Max? He looks me square in the eyes. His face glazed with sweat. He starts panicking. There must be another one. Where is it? Where is it? I don't know, Max. I'm trying to make light of what seems to be a deteriorating conversation. There must be another one, he bellows. He reaches into his outfit and from pulls something small. He raises in the air a dead magpie. (laughs) I've written to you for advice on how to get over this traumatic event. Uh-huh. They they never they say never meet your heroes, but I never thought in my wildest dreams that this would be the reason. Thanks, boys. The podcast is ten out of ten. That's from Katie in Wales. Love Cheers, Katie. Katie. Cheers, Katie, Katie in Wales. Yeah. I'll apologise first and yeah. foremost. Max is a you know a representative of the STI community. Um, Max, you've really got to address this, okay? Yeah. Uh, I love how passionate you are about movies. The mm-hmm. fact that you'll go to this. Length to lie about you working on them. Um. <laughs> the things that we do in our own time are personal. Yeah. Not when you're in public, though, Max. And hopefully private. Uh, I I have put a lot of stress on myself over these last few weeks, uh, months, <laughs> trying to review films that I think you guys would love. Uh, and there have been a few naysayers, uh, mainly on this podcast. Sounds like it's taken its toll, though. That, um, 
that have tried to shoot me down at every every review I do. Oh, a review of Bugs Life. It's not fresh enough. It's not new enough. Yeah? And I've lived with that stress for the last, what, several months. I enjoyed a Bugs Life. I was just saying that it wasn't fresh and new. Nay saying. Next. Yeah? And, you're, and you're telling me that won't make me crack. Over, over the whole four months of lockdown, yeah. you've reviewed two movies, Bugs <laughs> Life and Ocean's 8. Do I look like a mathematician? No, I don't know what those numbers mean. All I care about <laughs> This is... man does not need a segment. He needs professional help. <laughs> and you need professional yeah. help. Uh, don't be an enabler. The newest movies. Don't be an enabler. Uh, thank you very much for putting it to the max there. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for getting in touch. It's been a strange one, you know. Yes, I wish yes. I wish we could go back to weeks of old where we just talk about Max going twos up on a dog, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately we can't. Instead, uh, two good friends have become bitter enemies. Yes, rivals. And I never wanted to see that happen. Sounds uh, like you did, though, when you did the whole... Uh, I may have smirked as I said that, Tom, but that is, you know, yeah. not to it's more. It's, this is now bigger than just the two of us, so uh, maybe see you next week, uh, I guess. <laughs> uh, Look forward to Ryan Locke and James Ormrod on the podcast. <laughs> you can me up as well. Biro pens. Uh, <laughs> just if you two can't get along... I can't just, just kick one of you out. Here. That's not fair. Right. But I can kick one of your segments off. You've got other segments to do. You've got to put it to the max. You've got... <laughs> I would die if I don't have this. Seems <laughs> uh, like world. you're going to die if you do have it, though. Yeah. For sure. Tom Cooney has his way. Destructive path. So, uh, what are you up to this weekend? Heading to Dover with Tom? Is that still going on? or? <laughs> Dover Cliffs. I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> Film a sketch. Oh. Got a park bench with my name on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you Probably will do after he kills you. Dover, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shake my hand after that joke. Come on. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching the Stephen Tries podcast. I've been joined by David hey. Reese. Thank you. <laughs> Thomas Cooney. Max Smith. See you later, guys. And Joe McGrath. <laughs> Put some trousers on, Joe. Come on. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, we'll see you next week with even more fun, hopefully, uh, if it can yeah. be topped. <laughs> uh, anyway, stay safe, stay humble, and ciao. Shalom. <laughs>